I'm Jenny Simpson, eight-time winner of the New Balance Fifth Avenue Mile. And I'm here with the race video from 2019. Um, such a wonderful like race memory for me. So I thought we'd take a one mile run down memory lane together. So here we go. New Balance Fifth Avenue Mile is away for the women. So the race gets started and I just remember so strongly last year, this being so different because we ran the race before the world championships. And so my expectation was that everyone was going to be in even better shape than ever because we're all on our way up, we're ramping up. Um, and that absolutely proved to be the case. So the race gets started. The first quarter mile is a little bit uphill. Um, and I just knew I was going to have to run hard the whole way if I wanted to win. Steeplechase at the World Championships for Team USA. And Allie was asked, why do this? And she Yeah, so you can see we're all like in a really big pack that first half or that first quarter mile. And it's just really fun running the race. I mean, they set down, they shut down Fifth Avenue Mile for all of us. The road is open when you're used to racing on the track and doing the curves. Uh, being on the open road is a really different feeling, um, especially the first quarter mile, because you're just kind of getting your legs under you. No matter how much you run on the road, running that fast, running mile pace on the road, you spend the first quarter mile judging your competition and also kind of getting used to the road a little bit. The yellow top, she made the final in the 1500. And she runs just off El Puria's left shoulder. You know, and the group up front is already separating itself a bit from the rest of the field, which tells me they must be running a pretty fast pace. And you mentioned it last year. I was surprised to see Simpson go to the... Yeah, so we're through the quarter mile, and even the commentators are talking about us running a fast pace. Uh, I think maybe that was a little bit of a surprise that I would just take it out so hard from the gun, but... Uh, my thinking really was, well, first of all, there was a little bit of pride and ego on the line because we had run 416 in the past, but it didn't register as an official course record. Uh, and so I really wanted to get the course record. So I thought I'm in amazing shape. Competition brings out the best in me. So if other people are in really great shape, um, then they might be able to propel me to a course record. So that's what we were really after. And Ellie rose to the occasion like a total pro. Um, she'd been running well all season long, and this was one of the great races of hers for 2019, in my, in my humble opinion. Yeah, so we're, we just passed half a mile, and it's really funny because we get a bonus, a prime, $1,000 if you're leading it halfway. And I always think I'm gonna see it and I'm gonna know where it is on the road. And then you just get so involved in the competition. Uh, I see the half mile come and go <clears throat> and kind of forget about it. Uh, but that's always a really, really fun incentive. I don't know another race. Um, I've certainly never done a race that has a halfway incentive like that. So that's a really fun part of the that in a while. Um, Ellie and I are also wearing the 5280s, uh, the New Balance shoe that was made specifically for running a mile on the road. Uh, New Balance, has just been incredible partners to me and to all of their athletes over the years. And them developing a shoe for us to run one mile on the road uh, is a huge investment into such a niche uh, need for the athletes. And so I really appreciate that. All right, we're down to the final minute and we've really cleared the field. You can see like there's incredible talent and athletes in the field, but Ellie and I have pulled away. Um, and at this point I'm running, <laughs> I'm running as hard as I can, and I'm thinking I just need to make it to the end, uh, really trying to secure that eighth win. But Ellie, man, she ran me hard the whole way. This is just fun because you can't really see with the head on, but man, we were just neck and neck. Those last two minutes of the race were really, really hard. So now we're probably in the last 200 meters or so. And coming down, and you, you really can't tell. We couldn't tell who's gonna win this race. And the crowd is really loud and it's exciting and the finish is further away than you think it is. And here they come, it's close to the line. El Puria and Jenny Simpson, who will get um, there first? Jenny has got and eight. I'm still, I'm still relieved when I watch it. I'm still relieved that it turned out the way it did. And I don't know if you saw, but I come across the line and I turn to Elle and I say, wow, because <laughs> I was so impressed and it was so hard to beat her. It took everything I had to win. Uh, that Fifth Avenue Mile 2019. 
Um, just wonderful memories. Eight times, I can't believe I've been in that good of shape eight years of my life. Um, and just thank you to New Balance and the New York Roadrunners who put the races on and give athletes like me and Ellie and, and everyone else in the field just incredible opportunities to show what we're made of. Thank you so much for joining me in the one mile run down memory lane as we watch the 2019 race footage. Good luck to everyone who signed up for this year's virtual version of the New Balance Fifth Avenue Mile.